Hey the YouTube is your brother Paraju with another reaction video. Today we got the McDonald's glass candle by Fern. Let's get right into it, shall we? Hit it. Once upon a time, not so far, far away, there were McDonald's Shrek glasses. Millions of these- The amount of Shrek memes I'm going to expect in the comment section the moment he said that is, is wild. But yeah, let's keep going. These were sold in the early 2000s, and millions of these glasses were toxic. McDonald's is recalling 12 million of its Shrek drinking glasses because a chemical is turned up in that painted design. How mm -hmm. did this happen? Did McDonald's poison millions of children? And what did it all have to do with Shrek? Oh, hello there, Shrek here. Over multiple weeks, we went down a rabbit hole and ended up in a swamp where we did not belong. Mm. An investigation that led us to a mom with a ray gun, the brutal murder of a congressman, a potential health hazard that went on for decades, and a toxic pussy. A, 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 a An adventure beyond oh, your okay. wildest dreams awaits. McDonald's is throwing us a party. They're even putting us on Shrek themed drinking glasses. Hidden health hazard. The paint contains cadmium. Considered a heavy metal and is quite toxic. Could cause bone softening. Yeah, because cadmium yeah. and lead are very close on the periodic table as well, if I'm not wrong. But either way, yeah, cadmium is uh, deadly. Yeah, same thing. It's, it's a heavy metal that poisons you over time, as I understand it. Answer. And severe kidney problems. There are four of them. If you have any of these Shrek glasses at home, please stop using them. I actually really do like the look of these glasses. I just wish they weren't so um, deadly. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> really. The launch of the Shrek glasses was a massive failure for McDonald's. But more generally, as long as you don't poison your customers, experimenting yeah, in. Fair enough. The 2000s were wild. Yeah. It was also the decade of Shrek. In 2001, DreamWorks released Shrek 1, earning hundreds of millions of dollars. It was lucrative. DreamWorks had something. Only a few years later came Shrek 2, one of the highest grossing animated films of all time. Next up was Shrek the Third and life changing TV specials like Shrek the Hulls and Scared Shrekless. But in 2010, DreamWorks released their most controversial work yet Shrek Forever After. Feed me. If you dare. <laughs> top critics were swamped, calling the movie quite mediocre. Yeah, top critics were swamped. Okay, I'm gonna enjoy the puns in this one. Some even used fancy words like, Shrek 4 shows all the signs of mortis equus syndrome, whatever that means. Hmm. But what made the mixed reviews even stranger is that Shrek 4 still managed to gross over $750 well? million dollars worldwide. A serious chunk of change for a franchise that seemed ogre. It wasn't I'm, I'm, a surprise okay. for DreamWorks, though. Okay, Sequel the, the, bro, the puns in this one are just gonna get sick. Oh, it's, it's ogre now, really? We doing this? Okay, okay. It was just work, unfortunately. Okay. But DreamWorks had also created a powerful marketing machine. Oh, yes. A machine that brought Shrek into the minds and hands of countless children at home. Mm -hmm. At whatever good. cost. It's the late 1970s. McDonald's is losing its market share for children. Not selling saturated fats to kids is not an option. So in order to maintain their grip, they decide to combine content and consumption. Yeah. They package a McDonald's meal like a present that comes with puzzles, riddles, and games. That's cool. Right off the bat, the Happy Meal toys are tied in with Hollywood productions. McDonald's secures deals with Disney and other famous children's content brands. This is Woody. This is Tigger. McDonald's advertises and sells merchandise for the respective brand, and they get free attractive content in return. Instead of a creepy clown, McDonald's can now use Disney princesses to lure in kids and their parents. Okay. The McDonald's Happy Meal quickly became one of the first socially acceptable forms of children's gambling, a cardboard loot box. Only by visiting McDonald's Weekly could a child have a chance of collecting all the characters from a set. No, I never really thought of it like that. It's like, huh. It is gambling, isn't it? Huh. Never thought of it like that, but okay. A stroke of marketing genius. Today, the Happy Meal is vital to the financial success of the chain, contributing between 15 to 20 percent of its Jeez. revenue. McDonald's is thought to be the largest toy distributor in the world. Yeah, I've known that. One of the brands who capitalized on this relationship was DreamWorks. In 2005, McDonald's ended a decade-long exclusive deal with Walt Disney. Disney's Treasure Planet and Atlantis were a flop, but DreamWorks had Shrek. Mm. 
Part of the deal was that DreamWorks would craft original animation for McDonald's commercials. Wow. In return, ogres were put in Happy Meals. Okay. <laughs> Look, Shrek, he's got your ear. <laughs> it was a success. McDonald's inks another deal to team up with DreamWorks for Shrek Forever After. Enter the collectible Shrek glasses. These glasses were not actually part of a Happy Meal, but they could be purchased with every order. An huh. upsell. Get the burger, get the toy, get the glass while you're at it. Hmm. Like Shrek, the glasses were a massive hit, and millions were sold. Those who managed to acquire all four of them could take pride in their collection. Hmm. But you see, Shrek should never have been taken out of his swamp. The glasses had some serious issues. Okay. They were outright dangerous, and no one noticed. No one, except for three people, and one of them was a mom. You would actually with think that in general manufacturing, like, you know, and I could be horribly wrong here, but you would just have general practice to say, hey, no asbestos, no lead, no heavy metals, mercury, or like, you know, cadmium. We should be Gucci. You would think that would be like a very general requirement that would be put up. The fact that it wasn't is what worries me. It's like, wait, so you don't have general quality that tells you you probably shouldn't be using that with an x-ray gun. Uh, okay, okay. The mom with the strap is not something what I expected in this video, but let's keep going. It's a hot summer day and in Los Angeles okay. in 2010. Okay. Jennifer Taggart is sorting through some work-related papers when her child storms in, demanding attention. Grinning, her son presents her a brand new Shrek glass that he just got from McDonald's. Hmm. Any ordinary parent would just brush it off, but Jennifer is no ordinary parent. Okay. She is a lawyer with almost a decade of experience in environmental litigation and consumer product safety. Okay. And Jennifer had a bad feeling about that glass. Naturally, as any responsible parent, she is in possession of a handheld X-ray fluorescent specs. that. <laughs> She's like, well, I'm ready. I'm ready for you, Shrek. You ain't taking my kid. All right, all right. Fair enough. Fair enough. She's ready on this graph, Also known as an XRF. An XRF analyzer shoots an X-ray beam into a target, making it emit light. Atoms of every element have a unique fluorescence. By analyzing that light, you can find the materials the object is made out of. You know, just your average parenting device. Why the fuck do you have that? In what, what, what world would you generally just keep pointing it at random things and saying, Aha, so you're made of argon, aren't you, you little shit? Okay, why, why would you have that there? These guns cost thousands. Jennifer is going to use hers huh? to figure out yeah, exactly okay. what Shrek is made of. When she sees the device reading, her heart sinks. Shrek's beautiful green skin contains cadmium, a toxic heavy metal and known carcinogen. Okay. That means it can cause cancer. Like other heavy metals, high concentrations of cadmium can be very, very bad for the human right. body. To your cells, cadmium just looks right. like zinc, so it's eagerly taken up. But the body doesn't use cadmium. It stores it, it kind of like in bones and in places, and then slowly, you know, poisons you over long periods of time, yeah. So instead, it damages the lungs and the intestines. Kidneys fail and bones crumble. Yeah. Yeah. It's all, what, what what is interesting is also it's very similar. I think in radiation as well. They uh, what was it? I, I, I don't really remember exactly why. It's like every time near like a radi uh, like for a nuclear explosion or a blast or like when you're exposed to radiation, one of the treatment is, uh, treatments is immediately you take. I think it's. Um, it's, it's not, th I don't know if it's thyroxin exactly. It's something uh, to do with your thyroid. Basically, to just fill it up with a certain, uh, it's not thyroxin, I'm pretty sure it's some metal or something. Uh, but you take a good quantity of it, you, and it helps build up in the thyroid so that it is not replaced by its radioactive isotope. As I understand, I don't know the exact element, but as I recall, it, it's still a treatment to this day. Like a preventive, a preventative treatment. Jennifer is terrified about the McDonald's Shrek glass. Okay and she finds an unlikely ally in her battle against them. Jackie Spear had a rough start in politics. Huh. She started as an assistant to a congressman whom she accompanied to South America to investigate an abusive suicide cult. Okay. At the end of their trip, cult followers ambushed them. They shot and killed Congressman Ryan and four others in his traveling group. Jackie Spear was shot five times and left for dead on a jungle airstrip. She managed to survive for over 22 hours until help finally arrived. To this day, she carries two bullets in her body from the incident. What the fuck does that have to do with this? Why is that such a... Why were you a congressman in a different country investigating a... What, what is the story? <laughs> there are so many questions. Despite this horrible experience, she entered politics and rose to prominence like a Washington version of 50 Cent. 
but her share of well, tragedy. Well, hundred percent. Is it? What was it? Like, I, it's oh god, we just did the Donald Trump version like last week, and it's just like, well, he got shot like I got shot, but he ain't fucking breathing. I'm like, okay, wow, all right, fair enough. Well, let's enough. do this again. When she was pregnant with her second child, her husband died in a car crash. Bruh, okay. Facing an almost incomprehensible amount of suffering, she continued on her path and went to represent California in Congress. You, you know what? Fair, you know what? Uh, I know I'm joking about it half the time, but that is mad respect. But bro, like she, whew. bro, she went through hell. God damn, that's respect. That's respect. Right Her there. first name is also Karen, a mother of two. <laughs> Jackie, <laughs> bro, you're devious for making fun of that. But you know what? Respect. If you got to be strong-willed and gonna be a dick about it, you might as well. You might as well dick hard. Hundred percent. He has pause. Long been concerned about toxic consumer products. She champions the new regulation to reduce the acceptable amount of cadmium in children's okay. products. Jennifer Taggart and Karen Lorraine Jacqueline Spear join forces. Jackie received an anonymous tip for the glasses and went to the Consumer Product Safety Commission, CPSC, urging them to investigate. At the same time, Jennifer also reports her findings to the CPSC and sends her findings to Jackie's office. For McDonald's, a PR nightmare begins. Oh, no. The discovery of cadmium on Shrek themed drinking glasses can lead to major health problems for children. Learning disabilities and permanent loss on IQ. It's all logo of a In an attempt at damage control, McDonald's immediately recalls its Shrek glasses in conjunction with the CPSC. Okay. By that time, around 9 million of them had already been oh, sold. No. They offer a $3 refund for the $2 glass to incentivize buyers to return them. In the end, 13.4 million glasses were recalled across the United States and Canada. Please bring the glasses in case you do not want your kids to have cancer is not what they said in a press yeah, statement. Yeah, smart. Instead, they called it an abundance of caution. It's too late though. The headlines are rolling in and they sound bad. A consumer alert mm -hmm. for you this morning. Parents, you need to listen up. McDonald's is recalling 12 million. 12 million. 12 million. 12 million Shrek drinking glasses. The word toxic is everywhere. 12 years later, even Cracked called them toxic AF. Yeah. From what we can tell, it seems like McDonald's never attempted to sell painted glasses again. Good, good call. Jackie and Jennifer had won. So let's get it straight. How dangerous or not were these Shrek glasses? And this is actually something, I mean, uh, it depends. Why would you even have, is it a normal requirement to have cadmium in the paint itself? Or is it, I... Uh, really? And what about all those other painted glasses McDonald's have been selling since the 70s? At the time, according to CBS News, 0.6 micrograms of ingested cadmium could be hazardous over time for an average six-year-old of around 20 kilograms. The CPSC collected the Shrek glasses to conduct tests for toxicity. They wiped the glasses 30 times to check for cadmium and other dangerous substances like lead or mercury. The wipes could give an estimation for the amount of a substance that leached from the glass onto the hand. What they found was fascinating. Shrek, Princess Fiona, and Donkey did not have high levels of cadmium. Okay. In fact, tests for other dangerous chemicals like lead or barium also turned up nothing. However, there was one glass that was dangerous. Some of you may die, but it's a sacrifice I am willing to make. But, uh, no, it was Puss in Boots, wow. unfortunately. A set of three towelettes from the Puss in Boots glass picked up around 15.83 micrograms of cadmium. Huh. The CPSC assumed that half or less of this amount would get into children's mouths through nibbling their hands, etc. The concern was not that it would poison a child right away. In fact, at the time, no illness from the glasses were directly well, reported. Obviously. Rather, the cadmium intake could accumulate and become a serious health hazard over prolonged periods of time. Huh. Just eight touches of the Puss in Boots glass per day would expose that six-year-old to as much cadmium as they could safely ingest in a wow. day. In the press statement by the commission, the spokesperson Scott Wolfson praised McDonald's' quick actions, adding that the cadmium content in the glasses wouldn't even be that high. The people making the glasses were convinced that they weren't dangerous at all. However, there were others who were much more critical. A chemistry professor, Jeffrey Weidenhammer, found the concentration of cadmium to be around 800 parts per million in the Shrek glasses. The federal law puts a maximum level at 75 parts per million for children's mm -hmm. toys. However, Glasses aren't considered toys. Quite convenient for McDonald's. Oh, that is, oh, of course. Right. You might have that because they would classify a toy as something that you would more likely be able to nibble on and do, you know, 
like you expect kids to like you know play around and toy with right so glasses technically they're not a toy they're a drinking vessel so does the law apply there i mean that's smart devious but smart painted glasses have been a reoccurring theme in mcdonald's since forever lucy and the gang are camping out at mcdonald's on 16 ounce glasses collect all five your supplies are limited already in the 70s mcdonald's got into trouble for them for the first time the Federal Environmental Protection Agency discovered that the lead content in the paint was exceeding the limit by over 17 times. Though, unlike with the Shrek incident, no glasses had to be recalled, as far as we can tell. At the time, the Food and Drug Administration apparently saw no acute health hazard. This does not mean that these glasses were unproblematic, at least from today's standards. Right. Here's my ray gun. <laughs> this is Tamara Rubin, another mom with a ray gun. She runs Lead Safe Mama LLC, a consumer protection company based in the U.S. You know, for many years, you know, she's I'm, I'm actually, I'm actually happy there are people out there who are actually taking, you know, let's say if you know these other like, um, you know, toxic chemical hazards, like as serious as they are. Why do you have to have people with random ray guns walking around, though? I mean, man, is it really a requirement to do that? Like, started on the use uh, of cadmium okay. and lead in consumer products. 1977 McDonald's. Um, 62,600 lead and 2,626 cadmium oh. on Garfield's face yeah. that I did, the orange. And the level is 132,800 lead and 11,500 cadmium. Wow. Mickey Mouse, your 2000 anniversary, and it's a McDonald's product. You can see on the bottom uh, the McDonald's logo there is 1,082 parts per million cadmium. Jeez. Although it seems like there have been no other painted glasses sold by McDonald's after Shrek 4, similar painted glasses do still exist. We got hold of new ones, second-hand ones, and we sort of tested as many as we can get hold of, really. This is Andrew Turner, a chemistry professor from the University of Plymouth. That is crazy. He tested around 200 different painted glasses, both old and new, and found high concentrations of both cadmium and lead in 80% of them. Jeez. Cadmium and lead from the painted glasses can leach out onto your hands and yeah. lips and into your body. Does that mean that you need to immediately bury them in a concrete coffin? Well, that's your call. You want to make people aware of the problem, but you don't want to scare people and, and get paranoid. But there are some precautions you may want to take. Sort of predict the ones that would have the lead and cadmium in. They tended to be more bright colors and looks like it had been sort of almost molded onto the glass. I would avoid any decorations on glasses where they go within two centimeters, certainly, of the top. And just keep an eye on it. Don't put it in the dishwasher, but just, just now and again, have a look. If it's one of your favorite old glasses, just check it now and again to see if it's all in good condition. And if you have small children, maybe just don't have these glasses around. Yeah. All of this made us wonder, if this whole category of glass decoration might be dangerous, why is it apparently legal to sell them? There is no relevant legislation, or the legislation is so out of date that someone needs to come down hard and say, right, new regulations, we shouldn't be using these chemicals at all. We pass all standards at the time of manufacture because on the day this is manufactured and sold, it's not leaching onto the hands of a baby because the paint is fully intact and it hasn't been sterilized and washed a hundred times. Due to a lack of regulation, wow. these glasses continue to be produced and imported. We reached out to Jennifer Taggart for this story, but she did not get back to us. We also asked McDonald's for a comment. They did not get back to us. To us, it is wild to think that McDonald's sold these for more than 30 years, despite initial concerns already at the end of the 70s, mm. especially since the target group was kids. It's good that Jennifer Taggart pulled the trigger that day to have at least some of them be sent back. Wow. What's crazy is that it's still being sold today. Um, well, not from McDonald's, but you can still get painted glasses today. And that is kind of worrying to see that, you know, there's a very, poss very good possibility that there could be not only heavy metals, but cadmium and lead in particular. Like, they're deadly. But yeah, don't buy painted glasses. Uh, suppose there's more of the story, but uh, that's about it. Catch you, Blue Bastards, in the next one. Peace. Take care. Have a have a good one. Uh, uh.
Shrek out bars. It's ogre now. Okay, it's it's ogre now. Okay, fine. It's 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 ogre now. <laughs>